Welcome back, Photo with Entrepreneurs. I'm Nicole. This is Own Your Mama Co., a company designed to bring you education and empower you to grow your photo booth business. Today, we're going to be tackling a topic that is unfortunately all too common in the industry, scams, and specifically scammers posing as potential clients. Unfortunately, I've experienced it firsthand and have heard countless stories of new owners falling victim to scammers posing as clients. And trust me, they're getting better and smarter by the day. Don't let that scare you too much because in this video, I'm gonna share five essential tips to help you avoid being scammed by people posing as potential clients. Let's go. The first tip I have for you is to research and verify your clients. Before committing to any booking, it's crucial to thoroughly research and verify potential clients. Start by checking their online presence, such as their social media profiles. Typically, this would be if they reach out to you first on social media, which has been my experience. You need to look for some common red flags, like a brand new account with several brand new photos kind of in a row and only a few followers or an account that has very old photos like from 5, 10, 15 years ago and no recent activity. And then all of a sudden they're DMing you. Oftentimes an old account was hacked in that situation and the scammer was using the profile to scam people. In, in my recent experience, it was a mother and a daughter on the profile picture, which seems sweet and innocent, but they were a scammer. So Keep your eye out. Uh, if you're in your DMs or in Facebook Messenger, take extra precautions and steps to determine the legitimacy of the client. And that doesn't mean that if every person that hasn't posted in years is a scammer. So it's just one of those things that you kind of like keep in the back of your head as like a future red flag. Tip number two is going to be to secure a contract. One of the most effective ways to protect yourself from scams is by using a well-drafted contract. Ensure that your contract includes all the important details like event date, duration, location, payment terms, and any other additional services requested, and most importantly, all of our contact info. Make it clear that a retainer or advance payment is required to secure the booking. Having a signed contract will give you legal protection and a point of reference in case of any disputes. Taking it even a step further, I highly recommend you incorporate a CRM into your business. CRM stands for Customer Relationship Manager. I use HoneyBook as my CRM and without fail, after encountering multiple scammers and testing the theory out on myself, my CRM has protected me each and every time. Let me explain to you exactly what I did. With each and every client or potential client, my goal is to get them on HoneyBook as soon as possible. This is for many reasons, but primarily it's so I can keep the conversation in one place. It can get tricky when you're answering questions in DMs, then emails, then HoneyBook. So getting them into your CRM is important. And in several instances, I was chatting with people in my DMs on Instagram and they asked to book my services. And so I send them the direct booking link to HoneyBook. Without fail, they can't click that link, don't wanna click that link, and never make it into my CRM platform. More often than not, that is the last I'll hear from them. But sometimes I'll get a response that says something like this. The booking link isn't working. Can't I just pay you directly? Or the booking link doesn't take me anywhere. I've even had someone screenshot my inquiry form on my website and say that the booking link didn't work. And I'm like, that's not what I sent you. But with all that said, I will say sometimes legit clients have a hard time accessing the link or maybe have trouble with the way that HoneyBook offers protections. In this scenario, I would take extra effort to legitimize the client. And for me, this looks like giving them a call on the phone and chatting with them about the details of the event or what they're looking for and seeing if you can walk them through the process. Again, scammers only care about getting their money fast. So taking that extra effort won't be something that they'll be interested in 
and they for sure don't like phone calls. Which brings me to tip number three, be wary of red flags. Scammers will often leave behind certain red flags that can help you identify them early on. Here's a couple of things to watch out for. Watch out for suspicious email addresses or phone numbers or lack thereof. Scammers typically won't give you phone numbers at all. And if they do, it'll be to a non-existent phone number or a disconnected phone number. Other red flags are generic or poorly written messages and unrealistic expectations or demands for the photo booth. One that I saw rotating for quite a bit was a request for a photo booth at a reunion for four to six hours. I don't know about you, but six hours is a very, very long time to have a photo booth operating. And that was a very interesting thing, especially for a reunion. So that for me was a red flag. In this scenario, an additional red flag is the address. If they put one, I want you to Google it and see what you find. The most common scammer will put an address to a house that is for sale, like abandoned. If you Google the address, you'll probably find the Zillow listing. And the biggest red flag of all, if a potential client insists on paying a large sum up front or circumventing your CRM in any way or rushing to the booking process, take that as a sign that they may very well be a scammer. Tip number four, verify payments. One common scamming tactic is to use fraudulent payment methods or bounce checks. Protect yourself by implementing secure payment practices like a CRM. Consider using trusted platforms for online transactions and be very, very cautious of clients who are hesitant to pay using these secure methods that you have already established. Like I mentioned before, in my experience, a scammer won't be able to access the HoneyBook portal or refuses to, which prevents them from gaining access to any payment platform. It's at this moment when they will ask to pay directly via PayPal or Zelle or even check via mobile deposit. I've even heard of an instance where they've offered to help a photo booth owner walk through the process of using mobile deposit for a check. They may also ask you how much the processing fees are. And this is kind of where the scam comes into play. They'll overpay you and then demand that you send the overage to a third party or a secondary person. Like they'll pay you a thousand dollars more than what you quoted them and say, oh, could you, I'm so sorry, I messed up. Can you please send that extra thousand dollars to the DJ and the DJ's them? It's just, that's the scam or they'll ask you to refund it to them, but to a different payment method. And that's how they'll get their money. Your refund will clear and theirs will never make it into your account, meaning your money is long gone. So if you proceed with accepting a payment in an alternative way other than your CRM, always confirm that the payment has cleared before proceeding with the event or with anything else that they're asking for. Trust your gut and never accept payments that seem questionable which is tip number five, trust your gut. Always trust your intuition. If something feels off or too good to be true, it probably is. As a photo booth owner and as you get more experience in the industry, you'll develop a sense of discernment over time. If any client or situation just doesn't feel right, don't be afraid to decline the booking, say you're unavailable or that the date was just reserved whatever you need to do to get out of it. Your peace of mind and business reputation are worth more than any potential job. I do also wanna say, whenever I'm encountering a scammer, and even if all of these red flags, all of these tips, I'm like, check, 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 I will still always respond to everything professionally, politely, but confidently and firm. You never know. Sometimes people are just acting like scammers and they're legit clients, which is why we have all these extra protections like making phone calls, double checking addresses, all of those things. Always try and remain professional. Never assume until they've kind of shown themselves. All right, there you have it. 
five essential tips to protect yourself from scammers. Remember to research and verify potential clients, secure a contract, be wary of red flags, verify payments, and trust your gut. Linked below, I'll share with you our very tried and true contract that we've created for the photo booth community, as well as links to HoneyBook in case you don't have a CRM already. By implementing all of these strategies, you can minimize the risk of falling victim to scams and focus on growing your successful photo booth business. Stay safe, stay vigilant, and keep capturing those precious moments. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.